Lucy, how great to see you. Good to see you too. Yeah. Wow, there's just so much unfinished business here. I'm freaking out. All I have around me is unfinished business. It's frustrating. I'm going to meet with my uh, helpers today to, to try to begin resolving the issue. But at least life is beautiful. So what, what's with your faceless figures? What inspired you to do that? Because I know you're known for this. I paint faceless figures for two reasons. One, because it's a reflection on the dehumanization of our society due to television and the internet technology. But it's also a way of having a universal language so that the people in my paintings are not black people, they're not Asians, they're not white people, um, they're just human. So my friend was um, saying that your studio looked so great, he wishes his office didn't have so many cubicles. Oh yeah, well that is a theme in, in much of my art. Uh, uh, cubicles, like this painting here, everyone's in their cubicle being observed by oh, cameras. Video cameras, completely oblivious to the colorful creativity that's elsewhere in the world and that's right next to them. And so this is a classic Gustavi that deals with uh, the dehumanization. But see, the mobile phones can free us from that because then yeah. we don't have to be stuck behind our cubicles. Right. So this is actually... Uh, you should, do, you should do one with mobile phones. I have actually done lots of paintings with mobile phones. The, and and maybe people comment about this scene quite often, but I was, early on I noticed that, like years ago I noticed that I'd see people, like, did a table for four, dinner for four, and everyone's on their cell phone. And I would paint that. Now, uh, it's common to critique that, but I remember when I started seeing that about 10 years ago, I, I would paint that. Here, here, this is more about office life. Yeah, I like this. Thank you, I'm happy with it. This was reworked. This used to be a totally black and white painting. Instead of the color, there was a, a flat gray background and it just felt dead. It was interesting, but not only did the painting need some color, but it needed contrast. I did another version of this where the color was in the computer screens, like a red screen was causing part of his face to have a red glow on it. I have too much unfinished business. This is a metaphor for lots of people's problems. Too much stuff gets swept under the rug because other better things come along that take away the attention, like a painting commission or something like that. One is the stack of books. So we just came up with the idea of putting a stack in the gallery. Can you explain it, Wilfredo? Like an art piece. More unfinished paintings. What do we do? This stuff here. This is taking up space, making it hard to walk. Those aren't unfinished. Those are just there. Oh, so... They need to be wrapped. Okay, you can take care of that today, right, Wilfredo? Yeah. These two need to be wrapped, but these two need to be worked on. Oh, my God. Because you had that... I'm just so overwhelmed. All this unfinished business. Heidi, there are too many piles. Look at this. What do we do with this? I think that's a pile he's gone through. Many times, but it seems to keep growing. Maybe you just need to hire assistants just to do reworks. Yeah, just to do reworks. Put an ad out for just painters to do your reworks. Yeah, because you're just wasting, or uh, just have the painters make do, do the reworks because you're wasting money with the canvas, the new gesso, the new stretcher bars. Okay, here, here's the problem with that. How can I... Uh, can I just show you what, what we have to start soon? How can I have the painters only do reworks when commissions are coming in left and right? Well, that's what I'm saying. Hire, hire maybe one or two painters just to do reworks. How do you find a painter? Put out ads. He puts out ads. Where do we do it now? When I, I haven't done it lately. It's been word of mouth. But now I have to put out an ad again. Where do I do it now? I bet in the 80s I put it in the Village Voice. Put on Facebook or Craigslist. Yeah, and Craigslist. Yeah. So I'll write the ad and we'll mm -hmm. can put it out. Mm -hmm. Should I write the ad right now? Sure, why not? All no, those paintings need to be reworked. Yeah, let's get the out of the way. Like this one is, how does one prioritize? How do we get this problem solved? Like this painting just won't sell like that. That's a little weird. Yeah. 
It's a little weird. Balloon suit. <laughs> but I like dinosaurs. Yeah, but it's this cute. particular painting. I would buy it. Yeah, for but you're not going to pay $6,000 for it. No. You would buy it for six dollars. Right, but wha what? Well, who gave it? Who gave it the value of six thousand dollars? Well, it's some of them. I did. It's on the price. Maybe you could All donate to a children's school. Do you want to give it to Jack Horner, my friend? No, 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 no. You cannot. I cannot release paintings that will harm the market. Should I just pick the ones that are? Hey, let's do it like this. Let's go through these and pick the ones that are, require the least work that we can leave. We can do fast that are worth reworking right away. I would say this is a candidate, right? Yeah. yeah. What, what this just needs it needs a background. Needs a background. That we can do fast. This needs a lot of work. So this one. That one's a quickie. Background. Just a background. Okay. Here, what's the problem here? I think the figures should, should not be gray. gray black. Yeah. And what about this orange? Is this can this be fixed fast or that's a lot of work? That's a lot, a lot of, work. of work. The the improvised abstract colorful shapes full of energy. What about this one? New background. New background. The Stonehenge thing is not working. What about the green and the green and the blue? Uh, those colors are not working either, are they? Blue and green are not to be seen. Blue and green are not to be seen. This is too much work. This one was tough. Lacks focus. He's punching through something, but it's not clear what the real subject is. That looks like, like a lot one. of work. As is? Or how do I fix it? I like it as is. Really? Yeah. But so, but Wilfredo, I think that, I think, I think the answer lies in Wilfredo. We haven't asked Boonsy. Do you have this problem in your house or in your life? Unfinished business? Oh, yeah. I always have projects that are unfinished. Yeah. And is that frustrating? No, because I try to have a deadline for finishing them. Okay, but... But I, I have this feeling of... That's good. I get, That's a good idea. Yeah, deadline. 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 But where do we start? We have... Okay, the deadline for the books in the gallery is today. Okay. Deadline for some of these is today. Because they don't make this size custom, so mm -hmm. I have to make them myself because otherwise I can't buy them anywhere because sometimes Mark gives out specific sizes like for instance this is 20 centimeters and they don't make them so I have to cut them down. Boots, do you want an espresso? Sure. Do you want it with sugar or honey or something like that? Actually can I have some water? Yes, water coming right up. How long have you worked with Mark? Really? Yeah. Off and on and not full time, right? right? Right. Sometimes more than full time. What's your role here? Whatever. <laughs> After 20 years... How did you guys meet? Well, I met her when she was born. Not in the hospital, but a few days after the hospital. She was a, like a next door neighbor, but there was mm -hmm. one house between us, actually. Growing up in, in Southern California. Then years later, she married my brother, Paul. So that makes you sister-in-law, right? Uh-huh. That's my sister. <laughs> They're just humans. People can read their own stories into them. And one of the stories they can read into them is the fact that we now live in a faceless world, a dehumanized wor world, uh, which is a result of uh, obsession with technology. First television, then the internet and now Google Glass. Yeah, is, is my obsession with Google Glass and my phone going to make me less of a human? Well, they discussed issues like that back in the 70s in movies like Network, which is one of my favorite movies, and so it's been a recurring discourse, and it seems only amplified. Um, I my argument, though, is that the more you have these visual devices that can capture reality, it'll actually make you more human. Yeah, you're right. I, I should just back out of that whole theory. I totally agree with you. Facebook makes me happy. When I'm depressed and wake up uh, with uh, palpitations and, and shortness of breath, uh, 
I have I feel an immense fear of death and and a sadness because of loneliness. But all I have to do is go on Facebook, and I'm instantly happy. So it's it's a good drug. Everyone should go on Facebook, 24 hours a day. That's not what the research says. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everything in moderation. I don't know, but wait, technology wait, so wait, you, is, so is a good thing generally. Toilets are technology. Without toilets, humans would have, go back to having 30-year lifespans. But plumbing is a good technology that has that increased the human lifespan years ago. Now, surveillance surveillance cameras are making it harder for bank robbers to 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 get away with the heist. We are in a safer society. <laughs> There's a box we can get rid of. You're gonna put them all out there and then bring back the clean ones? This one here. I mean, we have so many anyways, why not just let the people have them even if they get a good one? That's not destroyed. Because we're selling these on e If they're in good condition, we're selling them on eBay. The, the miter saw. But we, that needs to be there? Well, for now. It's a lot of room now. Because I have to cut some wood. We'll fill it up with more stuff. Huh? Say it again. We'll fill it up with more stuff. Gotcha. Huh? Take space for this Oh, fantastic. Wait one second. Let me just send this urgent email out. I can't wait to see it. I'm just confirming the authenticity of two Gustavi yeah. paintings about to be auctioned off. Oh, Mark, I hope you really like the sign. Oh. Where is it? Where is it? Did you already put it out there? Are you nervous? Oh, yes. That is awesome. Now we're talking. Business. Yes. <laughs> Do we want to put it on the other side too? Look, look the other side's blank. Is that okay? I can put it on the other side as well. Yeah, because then when people come in from over here, they'll see it. But I, I can't. Can you see how happy I'm? Visibly euphoric. I love it. I love how you do this little bang. I could have made it out of one of the books, books too. This, I am so impressed. <laughs> you definitely get a gold star. All right. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Now we'll see if people take them. Task done for the day. Ta yes, major. And you, Finished a project. And you guys really think it's cool that that all the um, the the mold is, is on it? Um, I don't know if it's. It's cool. kind of gross. <laughs> it's not every copy. It's, it's got um. <laughs> Uh, they are mold. dusty, right? You, you and need away black mold, Mark. You feel good about that? Look at this 80s book with all the dust. Yeah, definitely keep that. Keep this? Yeah, it's 80s. But no, you, this will give away. No, Mark, let's keep that one. That's 80s. But the rest, let's just get rid of. They all have black mold. You're confusing me, Heidi. Those ones we keep, Jenica. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Did you see what just happened? No. We just I made 15 that. people happy. Oh yeah? They said it was the highlight of their trip. Of the whole field trip. She's trying to help us make a viral video. Oh. We're actually doing it together. Mark's been trying to make a viral video. Yeah.
And with Boonsi's help, since she actually has done it, she's got two viral videos. Yep. She doesn't have a million hits like cults, but maybe she's got... Maybe this time. Maybe this time. And the theme we decided over lunch at um, Italian restaurant on 27th Street, the theme is unfinished business. But you already had lunch? No. Another day. Okay. Oh, okay. Why, is that all you're thinking about is lunch? <laughs> you want lunch, Heidi? You just lunch came is... here and you want to lunch first? Yeah, you, you, first the bathroom, then lunch.